Okay, we have here a Pro Book, which supposedly has a graphic card issue. I have not worked on it yet. It's a Pro Book, uh, Elite Book, sorry, Elite Book 8560. So let's turn on the unit and see if we can find the fault. Okay. It's running Windows 7 at the moment. Apparently it is not connected to the net as it does one specific purpose job. Eighty five sixty PHP. Let's have a look what kind of computer this is. Okay, so second generation CPU. DDR3. Okay, so. So this one had never a NVIDIA chip, only a AMD Radeon. HD 6470 That's a bit sounds like a familiar model which may have graphic card issues I don't think that is good news with that uh, Let me have a quick look online I'll just hide the screen so we can get it ready. Uh, view. Show desktop icons. Nope, okay. So I'll bring the HDMI screen. Hopefully that will work. That's the HDMI input. Hmm. Anything at the back? There's only display port. And wire and VGA display port to HDMI I don't have any unfortunately I need to get those adapters okay so here is the screen we can all see together so it's apparently sometimes there's a glitch of some sort as reported by the customer I'm not sure so Let's connect it to our Wi-Fi. I'll just bring up the browser. Okay, I'm just going to log in with Shark and the account.
Oh, here we go. Nice. The problem repeated. Mm. Now, whether this is a problem with the screen or something else, maybe best to plug in a VGA connection. Oh, there was a blue screen. I didn't get to see it. Oh, okay, okay. This is definitely a GPU. Yeah. No doubt. I 100% think it's a graphic card. Just plugged it into a VGA connection here. And the same problem does present itself as you can see. On, you can see the discoloration. Yeah, it is not a cable problem. Yeah. So when you get the same line happening on external monitor, it's an obvious sign that this is a genuine GPU issue. Okay, so what do we do about this machine? Well, we did advise client that the GPU may be able to be repaired. And if it is, Great, if not, we will replace the board. So we've got two ways to go. We can attempt the repair and hopefully that will fix it. It's a bit tricky. Okay, I had to do a little bit of research and advise the client. So we're not sure what we're gonna do yet. The CPU is removable on this, so we can get a motherboard cheaply and swap it out. Okay, so it's crashed, that's understandable, blue screen. And it will most likely relate to um, GPU, so we're really not going to go there. Ideally, you want to remove this uh, GPU, reball it, and put it back on the system.
Okay, let's have a look at that crash. Yeah, so we can clearly see why it crashed. Yeah, so we can see ATI, ATI. Okay. We'll see how this goes. But I ideally want to be able to sh uh, repeat the problem. So if we can maybe do a quick uh, GPU stress test, probably it's going to kill it. Okay, let's give it a go. Standard settings. Hmm, 68 degrees. Seventy degrees. Oh, seventy one degrees. Crash. So basically when the crash happens, you'll find the display driver stop responding. take a photo of that yep okay so this is a typical scenario when it crashes yeah because the GPU stopped it's currently not working cool
do that again. I wanted to crash. So as soon as it reaches 71 degrees, I suspect it's when it crashes. Sixty five here we go. Degrees it crashed. Nice. Okay. We won't spend any more time on this. We'll see what the client wants to do and we'll go from there. So it's a HD seventy four hundred M. You can see the lines on the screen. Yeah, it's AMD 7400M. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.